why I wanted to work in this area and I've chosen, I have chosen, I want to do this until I die. Um, it's because it's my story. I'm divorced, I'm a single mother, I'm, I'm a professional, you know, my first degree is in law, I've got an MBA, I was married to a doctor, so it's one of those, you know, professional couples sort of thing. Um, I'm a project management consultant, so I have held high-powered jobs in various sectors, both public sector and private sector. And when I was going through my trauma, it was so difficult to actually separate my work life and my home life. I mean, I would go to a board meeting, talk about million dollars or million pound deals and projects and programs, and, you know, wonder whether I could actually deliver. Then I'll go to the toilet, have a good old cry and come back out again. You know, so it was really difficult. I couldn't, didn't have anyone to talk to. Um, I had picked my direct reports really, really looked up to me. I'm a bubbly person, so they looked up to me. It was like Zena would always sort things out. I'm thinking, who's going to help me? A divorced woman or a separated woman or someone that's come out of a you know, relationship. You can be from any social standing, social class. You can be, you know, you can be all of these things. But more importantly, you need help. You need someone to talk to. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, typically, you know, we play the blame game. Oh, you know, if I'd done it this way, maybe he would have loved me more. Or, you know, how come I can keep my job together, my business together, but why can't I keep a marriage or a relationship? Or how come that woman down the road, um, Petula down the road, or Cindy down the road, she's such a atrocious woman and she can keep her husband on the leash or she can keep her boyfriend or partner. why can't I? And you ask yourself all these questions and there's no one to talk to. So I set up Believe and Live Again as an avenue for people, people just like me, people that can resonate with what I've gone through, people that I can resonate with, with what they've gone through to help you pull you up by your, you know, bootstraps and help you get your confidence back and help you to be who you really are. So you get your authenticity back. You don't have to wear a mask. You come to my events, my workshops, my one-to-ones, whatever you feel you're comfortable with, and you'll meet like-minded women, women professional like you, either business women or lawyers, doctors, retail, you know, therapists, people that work in shops, caterers, all sorts of people, you know, just like you, and you have one thing in common, You've come out of a failed relationship for whatever reason. You could even be a widow uh, for whatever reason. What you need help. You need someone that you can talk to, someone that you can share your ideas, someone that won't laugh at you for being supposedly weak or supposedly vulnerable. Someone that you can actually take off, you know, just like when you come back from work, you kick off your shoes, where you just kick off your mask and you can just be yourself and say, Ah! I'm dying here, someone help me.